Welcome to Lame Boys RC, my name is Werner. We have now October 2019 and I'm happy to announce a few improvements to my light controller project. If you're not familiar with the light controller, it is a fully customizable lighting system for RC cars that supports automatic brake lights, reversing lights, indicators, as well as manual switching of lights from the transmitter. Please refer to the introduction video linked in the video description for a general introduction to this light controller. Since the last update, we have made minor modifications to the circuit board of the light controller. The transistor for the switched light output has been moved to the inside of the light controller. This allows for easier manufacturing. The schematics and functionality of the light controller is exactly the same as before. The new circuit board was made with KiCad instead of Eagle. KiCad is an open source software and can be used by anyone without restrictions. The case of the light controller is now a 3D printed part instead of a sandwich of circuit boards. Speaking about hardware, there is now also an additional preprocessor circuit board available that supports up to three AUX channels. The preprocessor combines servo signals into a single data cable for neater wiring of your RC car. You can find a detailed explanation of the preprocessor in the video linked below. The old 3-channel preprocessor is still available and is smaller in size. So if your transmitter has only 3 channels, then you can use the 3-channel version to save space. With the new 5-channel version, the AUX channels are fully configurable. For each AUX channel, you can choose from a variety of functions. AUX channels can switch the lights, or provide manual control of the indicators, or turn the hazard lights on and off. Via custom light programs, which are small scripts that you can write for the light controller, you can perform virtually any function you desire. The AUX inputs can be driven by a two-position switch, a momentary push button, a three-position switch, or an analog control on the transmitter. Let me show you an example use case. On this setup I have configured to switch the hazard lights on and off with a two-position switch on the transmitter. The indicators can be switched via a three-position switch. The momentary button has been configured as a headlight flasher via a custom light program. The light controller can be customized using a web browser based tool called Configurator. All the new functions have been added to the latest version of the Configurator. Instead of being one long page, the user interface has been redesigned with tabs on the side where you can select from a category of settings. The latest firmware of the light controller now comes by default with a feature called Shelf Queen mode. In this mode, the light controller simulates driving behavior and switching of lights in a random fashion. When the light controller is powered on, but does not receive any servo signal, then after a short time it goes into Shelf Queen mode. So all you need to do is to connect the battery to the light controller directly and enjoy your nice body shell displayed in a cabinet. If you are building US cars, then you will be happy to hear that the new light controller firmware supports more realistic combined tail, brake and indicator functions. The indicators also can now blink asymmetric, which means that the on period can be different from the off period. I have also updated the documentation for the light controller. We now have wiring diagrams for different installation scenarios and we also added information about the preprocessor. If you are already an existing light controller user and you want to upgrade the firmware to make use of the new functions, simply load the configuration file of your original customizations into the configurator, save a new firmware image and flash it into the light controller. If you don't have a light controller yet and you want to build one yourself, you can find all the information on GitHub. The link is in the video description. If you're not able to build a light controller yourself, you can contact me at laneboysrc at gmail.com. I usually have a few units in stock to send out, if you compensate me for material and shipping. Last but not least, I want to thank everyone who used my light controller especially the people who sent me photos and videos of the finished builds. 
and the ones who even built their own hardware and modified it to suit their needs. You're all awesome. Thank you for watching. See you next time.